I think it's really important to be diverse as a musician because I feel like the career itself can be quite unstable. You never know like when your next gig's gonna happen and so it's really important to sort of have interests in other areas where you can also make money or there can be longevity. So for example, during COVID and there was a lockdown, um, I could still do online teaching, which still managed to make me money. But also I am uh, super, li I, I like to have my fingers in lots of pies. I'm really stimulated by lots of different things. I get bored if I work on one thing too long. Um, and I also think you get a better and fresher perspective on things that you are working on if you're able to step back and focus on something else and then come back to them. So that's why I choose to write and teach and mentor. Also it's really important that if you've got a gift you give back um, and so that's what I do with teaching and mentoring. <laughs> Um, at the moment, my sort of future plans, I guess, are focusing on honing my production skills. I think I've been known in the industry as a singer and a songwriter and an MC for a really long time. And while I have been producing also for a really long time as well, as in creating music um, uh, from scratch, I, I feel like it's only in the sort of last year, especially since lockdown, that I've kind of thought, you know what, stuff it, I'm going to make drum and bass and I'm going to reach out to people and do remixes and I'm going to hit up pop artists and see if they want something different. And, um, it's actually really starting to pay off so I, I've started making drum and bass now and feeling confident enough to share it with a few other producers and get feedback, hopefully with the intention to release that. I'm hoping that in the future this is something I can get known for more and you know, sort of, it's something that will see me well into the future as I get older and perhaps, I don't know, pull back from performing less. Not that that's happening anytime soon, but you know what I mean. Like it's something that, again, will, you know, I always think about longevity. How, how can this see me into the future? Even though we were in lockdown and, you know, we all had to like stay home, I think I was kind of lucky in the, in the fact that I have a lot of strings to my bow and I can write and teach and um, record and I do a lot of stuff online anyway. So a lot of uh, collaboration that I do with UK artists, for example, is all online. So that wasn't affected. And then in terms of teaching, we were able to do these Zoom lessons where our kids popped up and we sort of talked about what music they'd been working on and how we could kind of help them from where we were and then I found myself doing other things like um, lyric writing workshops that I just recorded myself doing and put up online just for fun just in case anybody needed them and it was a way to keep myself busy and I guess it was a way to feel like I was connecting and reaching out to people and then of course um, my husband Ciccarelli and I uh, we did the liquid lockdown which is a sort of divergence of the liquid lowdown which are drum and bass nights that uh, he puts on here in, in Auckland. Um, so we did live streams. We did that three Fridays in a row and then by the fourth Friday we were like oh just nah. <laughs> we just want a night in just you know him and I with some popcorn watching Netflix you know. Um, but the live streams were a really great way to stay connected and what would happen is that we would we would do these live streams and then afterwards we'd have an after party on um, uh, what was that? It was a it was a house party. There was that that application house party that seemed to only be popular during COVID, and all of our friends would meet after our gig and we'd have a kick on online. <laughs> so we'd just sit there getting drunk, talking to each other, everybody in their various houses, and we'd all dress up in costume and stuff. So it was a really really cool way to stay connected with the fans, stay connected with friends, but also to push myself out of my comfort zone in terms of trying new things and. Um, yeah, keeping busy, keeping the mind busy, which I think is really important during times like that for people like me. It doesn't work for everyone. Some people just need to chill and spend time with their kids or whatever. But for me, I just have a husband and cats, so <laughs> I needed to do all the things. <laughs>